There is no charge for awesomeness. Hi, this is Caro and it's my great pleasure to be a guest presenter in the 30 Day Challenge 2008. The video today is going to be about teaching you how to build a Skidoo lens and then link that into your WordPress direct blog and then socially bookmark it. Now last week, week one, was very much about on-page activities. It was about identifying your main keyword phrase that you're going to be pursuing. Now what we did there was with Market Samurai we identified with SEOT, SEOC and also the matrix what keyword you're going to go after. Then you built your WordPress blog. So that's what we did in week one. Week two is very much about promoting your WordPress blog. What we want to do is build quality links into your blog and how one of the ways we're going to do that is actually leverage the power of some web 2.0 websites. So the first one is going to be Squidoo. Um, Squidoo is one that I know very very well personally myself so again I'm, I'm really excited to show you around Squidoo as well. So follow me. Okay, so here we are at the Squidoo login screen. Now if you look up here, um, all you need to do is type in www.squidoo.com and then generally you'll press the sign up. Now I already do um, have an account for the 30 day challenge. If I was going to be signing this up again, I would be going along the lines of Ed. Dale, and then the email. And I do have um, typing dyslexia, just to let you know. So you can have some fun seeing how many times I make typos, which will be quite a lot. And they like to test me again. There you go, thank you. Desired username will be vintage electric guitar, password, password there again. So you know how this goes and you fill in there. I love how they put snug snob. And then yes to the terms and conditions and then you press continue. So that's what you do when you sign up. Okay, after you've signed up you come to a page that is about building your lens. So in this case, what is the lens about? You want to use your key keyword phrase. So vintage electric guitar. Then we move to step two. You're going to love Squidoo, it's so beautifully easy. I want to get the word out about Vintage Electric Guitar. Now I normally pick that option. This is not make or break. You pick whatever option you want. You know, one seems pretty easy. So then go to step three. Okay, now just a heads up here. Um, I've already taken this um, one and you'll see more about that. It's, it's a bit like the um, chef. I've um, prepared one earlier. So I've typed in vintage electric guitar. For me to proceed on this, I'm just going to be doing one just so that I can show you um, how to go through with the tags and everything like that. So, and again, this may happen for you that you may come up to your keyword phrase and it's not there. Now, I prefer to keep the words um, all together like that rather than dashes. I have used dashes as well and they still get um, really good um, placement in Google re search returns. So um, I do things like that. I might do one like I have here. So again, G-rated material or very straightforward. Go to step four. Now, you want to put your category keywords in here. So in this case, vintage bass guitar, we've got Vintage Gibson guitar, Gibson, Gibson, Gibson's a place in New Zealand, um, and antique guitar. And then you do your pick book, and then you just click done. Okay, so here we are in the Squidoo lens. And again, you see you really want to have it keyword optimized. So Vintage Electric Guitar by Vintage Electric Guitar. Now I've already put in the bio here for Ed, but if you look at this, all I did was copy and paste a blurb. Um, this is actually all very true about Ed, and then I uploaded a photo. So it's really, really easy. So you see that there. Um, I'll save, make this default bio. Yes, please. Then 
again it's in the category DIY and hobbies and then these are the tags. Now you can put more tags in, in fact we do advise you down the track. At this stage your five category, um, four or five category tags are fine. So you can see here there's quite a lot to choose from that you can have in Squidoo. Now you only actually need three modules to be up and running. So I'm actually going to do four today but um, yeah, you really only need to have three to be up and running. So first thing I'm going to do is again keyword optimized vintage electric and my typing guitar and I'm just going to grab some copy that I have prepared earlier I'll tell you, I feel like I'm a chef and I'm going to drop that in here so again now with the copy I don't know anything about vintage electric guitars myself. That may be the same for you with your keyword phrase. That doesn't matter. I have done my research and I've created this piece um, from other material I've found on the internet. Now I, hand on heart, believe that this is original content, as in I have written it out myself. What I'm going to do after I publish this is I will be doing a copyscape check, which is a free check you can do, and it's www.copyscape.com just to make sure that, you, that your content is original. And I think this is a great check so that you're not going to get into any um, grief down the track. So, okay, and I think I'm going to upload a photo. First of all, I need to browse, don't I? And I think I'm going to go for that one. That looks nice. So let's have a look. Upload photo. Up oh, and save this. Now, sometimes I'm, I'm somebody that I actually like to like save, have a look. Now, I haven't played around with this at all as yet. So now I'm going to go back in now. Really, to begin with, as you're starting out to keep you know everybody happy, I actually think the less links, the better in many ways. So we do want to link to your main um, ranking vehicle, which is your WordPress blog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few keywords. So this is an example here, and I actually have something I prepared earlier over here and I'm going to replace that there. Now Hendry, I know you'll be watching this, could you please put these links um, in the actual transcripts for everybody if they'd like them and yeah if you could do that and I'll also get Nares to put it up on the um, to put it up on the website as well. Okay I think I'm going to make that one be. Now please for newbies I don't know HTML, so don't think that you know this is difficult. I just know that B and B, so B and then a slash B is bold. So I want to bold one of them. Now, in this article, I've actually, and all of these are pointing, as you can see, to the Vintage Electric Guitar blog. I want to, now I'm looking for the keyword antique, so if you spot it before I do, shout it out, please. somewhere there you are. So I'm also leveraging some of the um, some of the category keywords as well. It all helps. And then the last one is for the vintage Gibson guitar. So and I'm going to put that I've seen you again shout out if you see it. Aha! Now I'm not going to bold the other two links at this stage, I may go back and decide that, but I also want to do some other stuff, so Vintage Electric Guitar, I think I'm going to make that, um, here we go, I, uh, I is for um, italics, and then Let's see if I've got another one that's not going to look too off. Um, actually, it would be nice if I had it in a heading, wouldn't it? I think it's here. 
Ah, oh, that's got a mess. I don't want it with this. Okay, so... I'm going to leave it at that for now. I may go on. Let's have a look. So those links are simple um, href links. So you can see there. Now, let's test it out. Very easy mistake to make. This is why I love to check everything. Look at that. Voila. In my own feed. This is really easy to grab off the blog. Um, in fact, you tab. just to show you how easy it is you just grab it from here so you just click on there we can right click and that's the feed so let's go and put the RSS feed in go between three to six I'm going to go four and I do want an excerpt again this is personal choice I don't have any hard data of one being um, better than the other so um, and I've got a fair few squidoo lenses out there so I think that will do for now and I also want to put in a link to the Amazon. Now, the purpose of this is not to, um, and we're waiting. The purpose of this um, exercise of actually putting in the Amazon link, or the link to the Amazon, it's not that because we're looking at this this vehicle, the Squidoo Lens, the primary um, reason for being is actually to help build quality links um, or quality link into the WordPress um, ranking vehicle. So, but you know, why not have an affiliate link in there? So I've put that in there. And then, so I've got that, I've got that. Have the guest book, don't think I'll have Amazon. Then the YouTube bits. Quite like the idea of that. Vintage. Here I go. I cannot spell. I cannot type, I should say. Um, the YouTube pick. Now, you'll see in the finished model, I actually. Um, put in more of a description in the RSSS feed and I'd also put something in here um, just for interest of keeping this short so. oh I put you okay I think I'd actually going to go back and go Okay, and there's a whole lot of other things here that I'm actually going to end up deleting. One way to do it is you can actually go to reorder modules, and that's a lot quicker to delete. You can also add more modules here. Again, you really only need three modules. Um, what I'd also impress upon you is just be really careful with regards to um, not putting in too many links. And let's go to publish. Okay, so as I said to you before, I'd already published one earlier. So here we go to the end published one. Now I do need to correct those links in that one. So if you're seeing this and seeing that it's not going to the little hand, 
that's because those links I need to fix them later so there's the price guide that goes through the Amazon page and you know basically voila you have your Squidoo lens next step this is really hard I know it's just so oh, Squidoo's fun okay I'm going to go and socially market Everybody's so helpful. Look, vintage electric guitar got in there, and then what will I put there? Um, an informative guide to what to look out for when when buying, selling. As Ed said the other day, just one will do, vintage electric guitar. Okay, and then I just submit to, and now I've got them all marked off at the moment. I will, um, I'm not going to do that many. I actually think I might do about 10. Now, Ed said the other day just to do about five. I really encourage you, please, do not bombard the um, social, different social directories. You don't want to get a reputation as a spammer. And you know, th this whole exercise, yes, we're looking for a fast result. We also want to keep an integrity with what we're offering our prospects. We, we're wanting them to ultimately buy off us. And so as part of that, we're building a relationship. And the first step is actually to connect with them. And you know, it really helps if you offer them quality. So always think quality content and with each of what we're going to be showing you over the next week to assist you in promoting your website always think about it being quality original content so i think that pretty much does us for today's video so there we go you can see the um, squidoo lens see who says you weren't a web designer and thank you very much for watching this there is no charge for awesomeness.